Pulmonary hypertension is a nasty disease where you start seeing thickening of the lining of the blood vessels of the lung. So in simplistic terms, if you imagine when you breathe in your air, it goes through small sacs called alveoli. From the alveoli and the blood vessel which sits right next to it, there is an exchange of gases that occurs. So you, you take out the carbon dioxide, you give in oxygen, and the blood vessel takes that oxygenated blood back to the, to the heart and it pumps it up. Very simple, very, very easy process. Now imagine that area of the blood vessel starts to thicken. So that air exchange is not occurring as nicely or as effectively as you would expect it to happen otherwise. So the patient is not getting adequate oxygen. It's putting strain on the right side of the heart because that's where it comes back to or where the heart's trying to pump into the, into the lungs. Your right heart is not working as well. You're not pumping blood as effectively into your lungs. You start getting swelling in your legs, swelling in your belly, swelling in your liver. So it's, it's a downward spiral which starts with medications such as water pills or diuretics acting as a short crutch not altering the disease process or making them live longer, but taking care of the immediate Band-Aid issues. So we went from there to medications which altered the disease process in itself. There's no cure right now besides a transplant, but you try to alter the disease process, to reduce the progression of disease, try and catch them before they reach a stage where nothing can be done, and use the Band-Aids only when necessary. That's the approach we've taken, and it's really helped us.